my brother is three years elder to me. My father was 28 years of age when my sister was born, while my mother was 26 years of age when I was born. If my sister was four years old when my brother was born, then what was the age of my father and mother respectively when my brother was born? Right? So like you can see, uh, a family of five members here, right? There's this first person who's given this data, right? My, so let's say his name is I, right? Let's, let's use the variable I. Then he has a brother. Let's say brother's age is B or let's refer to brother as B. Then father, we have sister, aunt, mother. So I, brother, sister, father and mother, right? A family of five members here. Now, read the data. There are statements related to their ages, right? These are nothing but equations. You have to convert these to mathematical equations and then find out what was the age of the father and mother respectively when the brother was born, right? What was the age? You have to go back to a point in the past, right? And find out the father's and mother's age when the brother was born. Right, when the brother was zero years old. So let's read these statements and analyze what is given. My brother is three years elder to me. My brother is three years elder to me. My brother is three years elder to me. So if you try and write an equation, I can say I, uh, I mean B is equal to I plus three. B is equal to I plus three, right? Brother is three years elder to me. His age is three years more than my age. So if I am zero years, brother would be three years. Which means when I was born, my brother was three years old. When I be five years old, my brother would be eight years old. When I'll be 10 years old, my brother would be 13 years old, right? That's the point. Then my father was 28 years of age when my sister was born. My father was 28 years of age when his sister was born. So basically this equation says that uh, the father uh, was 28 years of age when sister was born. So father's age is equal to sister's age plus 28. So, so this goes to show that the father is 28 years older than the sister, right? When the sister was born, father was 28 years old. Right, so he's always 28 years more than the age of the sister, right? His age is always 28 years more than the age of the sister. While my uh, mother was 26 years of age when I was born. So what do you understand from this? Mother's age is 26 years more than my age. Mother's age is 26 years more than my age. So when I was 0 years, mother was 26 years. Like when the sister was 0 years, father was 28 years. When I was 0 years, mother was 26 years. So I can say the mother's age is I plus 26. My age plus 26 years. So when I'll be two years old, my mother will still be 26 years elder to me. So her age will be two plus 26, 28 years, right? That's the logic. Now read the next statement. If my sister was four years old when my brother was born, my sister was four years old when my brother was born. So what do you understand from this? Sister is four years older than the brother. When the brother was born, when he was zero years, when the brother was zero years, sister was four years old. So sister's age is equal to brother plus four. When the brother was 0 years old, the sister was 4 years old. When the brother was 5 years old, the sister was 5 plus 4, 9 years old and so on. Yeah. So I think you, you got to understand how to write these equations, right? When he's referring to a point when somebody is born in the family, this is how you frame the equation, right? Brother is 3 years older to me. Father is, father was 28 years and sister was born, which means father is equal to sister plus 28. Mother was 26 years and I was born. So mother is equal to I plus 26. Sister was 4 years old when brother was born. So sister's age is brother's age plus 4 years. And then what we need to find out is age of father and mother respectively when the brother was born. So when brother was 0 years, when B is equal to 0, what is the age of father and mother? Right? So basically it says when B was 0 years, what was the age of father and mother? F equals to what and M is equal to what? This is what we need to find out. So one way we have got like equations here, only 4 equations of course uh, with 5 variables but then uh, you know dealing with these equations is going to be really complex. So, so instead of doing all this, let us try to make a timeline, right? The times at which these three kids were born, right? Which includes me, I, my sister and my brother, right? So let's, let's get the timeline. And I think once we do that, it's going to be very, very easy, right? Just, just go by the age difference and you'll be able to crack it. So, so that's what we are trying to establish using the timeline. See, clearly brother is elder to me and sister is elder to brother. Look at these two equations. Brother is three years older to me. Sister is four years older to me, my brother. So which means sister is the eldest. Then next comes brother and then I. So let's say I is equal to zero. Implies what will be the age of brother? The brother will be three years old. Implies the sister will be seven years old. Yes or no? Using these two equations. If I is zero, B will be zero plus three. Three. S will be three plus four. Three plus four, seven. So basically between me and my brother, the difference is three years. 
बिटवीन माई ब्रदर एंड सिस्टर द डिफरेंस इज फोर इयर्स विच इज वॉट इज गिवन एंड बिटवीन मी एंड माई सिस्टर द डिफरेंस इज सेवन इयर्स ये नो द डिफरेंस बिटवीन मी एंड माई सिस्टर सेवन इयर्स वेन आई वो जीरो इयर्स सिस्टर वो सेवन इयर्स दिस इज द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट पार्ट ऑफ द क्वेश्चन इफ यू कैन यू नो अंडरस्टैंड दिस देन सॉल्विंग द क्वेश्चन बिकम्स इजी नाउ लुक एट द अदर इक्वेशन राइट वॉट इज ई सेंग सी फादर्स एज इज सिस्टर्स एज प्लस ट्वेंटी एट फादर्स एज इज सिस्टर्स एज प्लस ट्वेंटी एट विच मीन्स वेन सिस्टर वॉज बॉर्न फादर वॉज ट्वेंटी एट ईयर्स वेन सिस्टर वॉज जीरो ईयर्स वेन सिस्टर वॉज जीरो ईयर्स फादर वॉज ट्वेंटी एट ईयर्स वेन सिस्टर वॉज जीरो ईयर्स वॉट वॉज द एज ऑफ ब्रदर द एज ऑफ ब्रदर वॉज माइनस फोर ईयर्स न दिस साउंड इलॉजिकल राइट हाउ कैन द एज बी नेगेटिव एज कैन नेवर बी नेगेटिव राइट बट या लेट्स रिवर्स द टाइम लाइन एंड इन इफ यू ट्राई टू लुक एट इट वेन सिस्टर वॉज बॉर्न ब्रदर इज इज माइनस फोर राइट आई मीन फ्रॉम ब्रदर टू सिस्टर इट इज फोर फ्रॉम आई टू ब्रदर इट इज थ्री बट वेन यू गो इन द रिवर्स डायरेक्शन इट्स लाइक माइनस फोर विच मीन द ब्रदर वॉज सपोज टू कम फोर इयर्स लेटर हियर आई वॉज सपोज टू कम थ्री इयर्स लेटर राइट आफ्टर माई ब्रदर वॉज बॉर्न आई वॉज प्लान थ्री इयर्स लेटर आई मीन इट साउंड लेटर इन फनी बट यू आई आई एम श्योर यू आर गेटिंग द पॉइंट देर सो सो इफ यू ट्राइन अंडरस्टैंड दिस विल गिव अस द आंसर राइट फादर इज फादर वॉज ट्वेंटी एट ईयर्स ओल्ड वेन द सिस्टर वॉज बॉर्न When was the brother born? The brother was born four years later. See, minus four doesn't mean that you subtract four. The brother was born four years later, right? Brother came after the sister. How much after sister? Four years after sister. So can I now say that the father was twenty-eight plus four when B was equal to zero, which means when brother was born? Yes or no? So twenty-eight plus four is thirty-two. So basically, father's age is thirty-two. That's what we want, right? Father's age and brother was zero. So when brother was born, brother was born four years after my sister. When sister was born, father was twenty-eight. So when brother was born, father will be twenty-eight plus four, thirty-two. Look at the options. Immediately look at the options. Eliminate the wrong ones. See, father's age has to be thirty-two. Option one satisfies. Option two satisfies. Option three, option four are ruled out. Of course, fifth option is none of this. So we'll have to do uh, one. We have to do the next step as well. But you should be good at eliminating the answer options. Now let's establish the mother's age. Right? What is the mother's age? We know that the mother is twenty-six. Mother was twenty-six years old when I was born. See, I was born three years later. I was born three years after my brother, which means my when my brother was born, my mother was twenty six minus three. Yes or no? Twenty six minus three. When brother was zero. You getting it? See, it's simple. If you if you make brother as zero, the idea is this. If if you are not able to follow this. Anyway, the answer is what option one. Twenty six minus three is twenty three. So mother's age has to be twenty three. So option one comes out to be the answer, right? Twenty eight plus four thirty two, and mother is twenty six minus three twenty three. See what are we trying to do? We want the brother's age to be zero, zero. Why do we want the brother's age to be zero? Because the question is asking us to find out father's and mother's age when brother was born. According to this timeline, we have found that when I is zero, B is equal to three, and S is equal to seven. Now just try and understand. We want brother's age to be zero, which means minus three. B should be subtracted by three. If this is subtracted by three, I also get subtracted by three, and S also get subtracted by three, right? So basically, when B is equal to zero, what do we get? I equals to zero minus three, which is minus three, and S is equal to seven minus three, which is equal to four. That is it. This will give you the answer. So when B was zero, I was minus three, which means when B was born, I was still to come, right? Three years later, I came, so I was under planning, right? But sister already came four years ago. That's it. So s is equal to four. When b equals to zero, s equals to four. So four plus twenty-eight, thirty-two. When b was zero, i was minus three. Put minus three, minus three plus twenty-six, twenty-three. So thirty-two and twenty-three is the answer there. See, explanation has taken some time, but if if you have understood what needs to be done, then it's like a simple question. Doesn't really uh, take more than forty-five seconds in my view. Yeah. So basically, we are using these equations, right? Using the first equation and the fourth equation, we have got this timeline here, yeah. And then once from uh, you get the timeline, you can find out father's age and mother's age when B is zero. All right. I hope all of you have followed this. So I think I'm glad that all of you got the right answer. Option one, thirty-two and twenty-three. Thirty-two and twenty-three. any confusions anywhere can we jump to the next one i think i've given a detailed explanation so you don't really have to you can calculate from the equations also basically m equals to i plus 26 so in place of i substitute b so i will be b minus 3 and put b equals to 0 right similarly s equals to b plus 
let me explain that as well i mean i, I was trying to explain how to do it this is more of a analysis right i mean more of reasoning but we can solve using equations as well right let me show you how to solve using equations so how do we solve the same question right let's say we have to solve the same question using equations what do we do it's simple i'm explaining the second solution second type of solution using a different color so that you can differentiate right so what happens can i say f equals to see s plus 28 but s can be taken as b plus 4 so f will be equal to b plus 4 plus 28 and similarly m m equals to it is i plus 26 but i can be taken as b minus 3 so b minus 3 plus 26 now we want to establish or find out the father's age and the mother's age when brother was born when brother was born his age was 0 so b equals to 0 4 plus 28 32 b equals to 0 minus 3 plus 26 23 so solving using equations also is very straight or you can just go by this time i'm sure solving using equations looks easier yeah when the brother was zero years old when brother was equal to zero when he was just born so either ways you just see which is easier and accordingly solve the question but i'm sure this this timeline that we have put up here is also an interesting concept right while this question looks easy uh, solving the using the equations but sometimes you may have to proceed with this approach as well